now you don't have to wander far through London of an evening before you bump into some sort of award ceremony. Whether it's actors, artists or architects, there's always someone getting a gong in the capital. Well, tonight in Billingsgate in the city, a different group of people are being honoured. Those who are making groundbreaking advances in healthcare. Matthew Morris has been looking at some of the contenders. Bright ideas, perhaps one day coming to a doctor's or dentist's near you. One of the inventions here is this virtual reality dentist chair. Now I've certainly sat on the, underneath the drill, uh, but I'm currently drilling a patient's tooth, uh, making a bit of a hash of it, I have to say. And the technology has been designed by a team from the University of Reading and King's College London. Instead of the traditional chair, which costs £30,000, and where they get through plastic teeth in seconds, this one they can practice over and over again and improve their skills. Mark O'Leary from Carsholton lost his leg in a motorbike accident 15 years ago. He's trying out a new type of artificial limb made by a company in Stanmore, North London. It works by, I have a, a titanium rod implanted which goes through the skin of my stump and into the bone, into the... Uh, and it, so it sticks through and which allows me to just bolt my leg directly onto uh, the bone. My old prosthetic, although it was very good technology, it was like having a, a sort of dead thing swinging around on the end of my leg. Whereas this, it's like they've given me my leg back. It's absolutely amazing. Another invention here is Limbs Alive. It's a video game and I'm now um, going to have a go at the being the trapeze artist. I'm told if I don't swing enough, she will fall. Um, it's not just a video game, it's for specifically designed for people who've had strokes. People who've had stroke often don't get sufficient therapy after they've been discharged from hospital. Most activities of daily life need two hands and you have to regain that two-handed function to do things like get dressed independently, prepare your food, eat your food and so on. If you look at the best ideas, the vast majority has taken about 20 or 30 years from the time I come up with the idea to ever benefiting a patient. The purpose of this event is to speed up that process and connect the best ideas to the people. That's why investors are being asked to part with their cash and bring these bright ideas onto the market. Matthew Morris, BBC London News.